Reporting live from the Pokey Pokey, this is Jimmy Cash. <laughs> in today's news, all private property laws have been abolished in America, and landlords are left with their dick in their hand when they have tenants who do not pay. <laughs> Please follow along, like, join, subscribe if you like the message. So in a lot of news here, uh, I've had to put a project or two on hold to go and handle something going on in America. For you guys that don't know, I'm in Canada right now, and I got a house in Florida, and I've been renting it out. I've rented it out to a couple families, uh, single mothers with kids and shit like that, on a couple of occasions. And I think you guys might be aware now that you're, as a landlord, you're unable to evict tenants even if they don't pay. Yet at the same time, there's no relief for uh, mortgage holders or whatever from their lenders or whatever, right? So I'm happy enough to be in a position where I'm not overly leveraged in any of this shit, but uh, it still leaves me wondering, what do you do when people don't pay their rent and you can't legally kick them out of your house and you all I also can't go back and occupy my own house or fix my own house or whatever it really negates the whole purpose of private property and even paying property taxes to the county why am I paying property taxes to a county that doesn't protect my property I think something's very wrong here if you guys look at a very old show of mine like three but maybe two or three years ago I called I called it America love it or leave it part one, two, or three. And in that, I illustrate it about um, when I go to the park in my neighborhood, where I own a house, wherever that may be, I feel like those are my trees. That's my pull-up bars. That's my lake with the ducks or whatever. Whatever. It's paid for by my property taxes or whatever. The street lights, the basketball courts, the running trails, everything. Everything. The guy that comes and mows the lawn and shit like that whatever park ranger dudes whoever canoe people everyone that does their part to keep uh city county state whatever parks you know looking good thank you for what you do by the way i appreciate i can i'm one that can really appreciate parks and um by the way up here in canada thunder bay ontario the parks are fucking awesome like some of the best i've seen in the world and a lot of people don't know about them but you know for running trails and shit i really enjoy stuff like this so with that point aside, I'm talking about uh, United States of America, Florida, and most of the USA right now. Um, if you happen to not be, this feels really weird to explain here, actually. Um, like, I don't consider myself to be an upper class nor a middle class person. I actually am a lower class person as far as, like, money and status and land and power and all this weird metrics or whatever. I'm, I, I'm, I'm all of it. I'm at the bottom, basically, right? And I accept my position for what it is, right? But... Even if you have slightly more than the average person, if you just have the American dream and own your own home and you decide to rent it out and go get another one and repeat the process or whatever, um, how does it feel if someone's occupying your house and you can't take it back and they're not paying you? What route do you take? What can possibly be done? You have no legal recourse. It's like almost like someone can steal your car, yet you can't kick them out of it, and you can't use it either, and you can't tow it, and you can't call the cops. It's very martial law, just like uh, the Grand Theft Auto video game, almost. But even in the game, there are still, what is, there's insurance, there's police, there's still... There's still, even though this is a fictitious video game, it still has rules. There's still basic shit applies and uh that's not going on right now in america i'm not i don't feel very comfortable actually holding rental properties actually right now you know be, just because of this and this is probably a worldwide thing but i'm only speaking on the, my uh place in florida here it's like it, it's it's fucked so basically i just decided to liquidate the motherfucker you know i can't uh you know what the fuck i, I can't live in it i can't rent it i can't whatever but I can sell it under you motherfuckers, so 
you know it is what it is oh there were some other restrictions as well too um i, I wasn't able to list it on an mls uh, they can't if you have tenants inside of a house you can't list it or some shit like that or something like that i've been told so yeah you're, you're really left stuck here and there's no protections for your shit which is really bad so i mean most people are not in my position like most people they they have most people have one fucking house they they own it and they live in it and that's all there is to it but there are a few people in the world that have more than one house and shit like that and we tend to can't live in them all at the same time so we either rent them sell them fix them flip them something or whatever like this right but people do these things right so you know i don't want to sound like i'm a dickhead landlord or whatever because i i've always given people chances i like giving people chances and opportunities and shit because i know what it feels like when people don't give you a leg up or a hand up or a hook up or whatever that's usually me so i i, I know what it feels like to be like in need for shit like that so my kind heart has taken in single mothers with kids and shit and let them rent my place whatever and if they didn't pay they were slow they were late or this said fuck it or whatever i still gave people a little bit of time to you know people are human and shit like that but i mean when i start sub having to subsidize motherfuckers for months and years and i feel like i'm i'm getting rode out here you know i'm like fuck i, I what am i going to do so you know anyway this is all this this show is just my experience about the uh the eviction moratorium in america and florida in particular in the county i'm in and how it doesn't work or whatever hey what's going on Nothing. i'm just doing a little show a box, that's all. get a box nigga. This, this is just a youtube show get hold hold on people what do you need go ahead grab it grab it grab it you got it no, I'm just looking for my mother's orange box. I don't know. Oh, it's under here. It's right here. It's under the table. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Okay. He found his motherboard box. <laughs> so what was I saying here? Um private there's a lot of there's a lot of shows i'm doing right now in a batch so be prepared or whatever but like yeah for real private property private property should be private and protected and whatever otherwise why are you paying taxes for it i really don't know how long this is going to go on it seems like this is uh and by the way i didn't vote i haven't voted in like more than 20 years actually <laughs> you know so blame me i'm part of the problem whatever but i'm in canada or whatever and i'm often not even in fucking america so a lot of stuff doesn't really affect me but owning property there or whatever i mean it is affect me you know what i'm saying so you know when you start realizing that your homestead don't mean shit and this don't mean shit this is all like worthless pieces of paper what's the point something's got to be done and i don't really just like the current state of things in america and shit's just fucked right now yeah basically unless you're like super duper poor and you're getting like the handouts and shit like that i guess you might be feeling all right but if you're even slightly above that and you you know you got a little something or whatever you got you got a little foothold a little thing you're halfway in the game doing something it's like you're fucked you can't have nothing extra. This is like it's like this is the way people describe like communist Cuba and shit like that to me. Like everyone's got the same shit, you know. So, you know, now might be a good time to dump properties if you're a property holder in America. If you have renters, otherwise, you know, if you just occupy it yourself or whatever, I'm sure you're fine or whatever. But the the no protection from landlords is really I don't like that shit. I don't like anything that punishes like merchant landlord. Cause I'm a merchant type of i like selling shit if you guys can't get the hang of that so anything that goes against landlording merchantry or things like that i'm very much against i don't feel very protected and i don't like the current state of uh things right now that's all i wanted to say about that yeah but it's very important yeah so yeah and private property laws in america i don't know what the future of them is if you have any questions or comments please discuss them with me below but i will not be in this boat while it sinks burns or whatever don't try to catch a falling knife i've heard you know back in the line i did forex a very long time ago very bad idea but 
yeah that was a common quote you know I, I, I don't like the way things are shaping up plus I think that there is a very big property bubble about to pop where a lot of real estate has been really inflated and overvalued the last couple of years I don't think that's going to last very soon very long either like the writing see, feels like it's on the wall for me for just everything to fucking implode like 2008 economy wise so I don't want to be holding not much of anything when that shit hits the fan you guys should have all moved your money and shit out of the country by now anyway i hope you did and etc but people are stuck wherever they are you know so even your plan b c d are still up in the air or whatever at the moment a lot of weird shit going on actually um another part of my show as i continue in my little podcast news or whatever uh the amsterdam protest i like what's going on there yeah, they seem to have the best, they are putting up the best resistance against lockdowns from what I could see there. Nice stuff. Often I have to look on BitChute and other sites to get real good uh, stuff that's censored off of YT or whatever. So here we go. All right. So yeah, we've got a couple things to talk about here, a couple emails to go through, and I will get to part two coming up next. Thank you for watching. These are my opinions only this is a voluntary show i just speak my mind i'm shimmy this is called the shimmy show hashtag the shimmy show and you can look me up on the internet just google shimmy cash probably in not safe for work mode yeah but that's what i do so a lot of stuff to talk about today so here we go part two coming up Ciao.